Hey guys, how's it going? This week we review a project that's gonna come online by the end of this year and we thought that the fundamentals are very strong so that makes it a worthwhile project to review. And this is in District 8 and it's called Uptown, Uptown at Farrah. Okay, why are we featuring Uptown at Farrah? The five reasons mainly is because number one, price point is very palatable for a RCR MRT project that's gonna come online 2021. Number two is because you can already see upside potential, even inter-project. Number three is because rental demand is very, very strong. And number four is because it's about to TOP and you'll be able to move in or rent out the place almost immediately. Number five, finally, is there's a very strong and strategic growth story that's already unfolding and we'll share more of that with you in a bit. Okay, let's talk about the location. So bringing up the map to Perumo Road is a minor road right beside Serangoon Road and it acts as a link towards Race Cross Road and this leads to Rangoon Road. So it's just two minutes away from Farrer Park MRT which is just across you and you've got City Square Mall and Farrer Park Hospital which is also in close proximity. Okay, so I'll take you to the actual site in a bit, but right now, let me share a little bit more on this site and district and some fun facts. So let's go to the district map and you will see that District 8 is basically very close by and the closest one to our branded regions like District 9, District 10 and District 11. And if you just think of the name Farrer Park, this is exactly the same Farrer as the British or colonial forefather they named this place after and he's the exact same figure which has the heritage towards Farrer Road just off Holland Road in District 10. Farrer Park was the home to Singapore's very first race course in 1842 and then it was also where the first plane ever landed in Singapore in 1911. If you're fast forwarding to modern day then you'll see that it also has now Singapore's only 24-hour shopping centre which is Mustafa that was erected in 1995 and then Singapore's very first eco mall which is City Square Mall erected in 2009. And of course, it also has Singapore's first integrated healthcare and hospitality complex called Connexion, which was erected in 2014. So District 8 is actually pretty cool compared to all the stigma with regards to Little India. So right now, let's talk about the project information. So who are the developers? Lo King Huat or LKHS Limited was established in 1969 and has grown into one of the biggest general building and civil engineering companies in Singapore and well known for projects like Twin Regency, South Bank, Kismis Residences and Pai Labour Square and even Minton Residences. The land size is 41417.37 square feet and has a tenure of 99 years from the year 2017. It's District 8, Kalang and TOP in the year 2021. So it has a total of 116 units, 240 service apartments, a single block of 21 storeys of residential units with a swimming pool and one block of 16 storeys service apartments and a sky terrace on the fourth storey. There's also three storeys of car park podium and a commercial shop storey on level one. Okay, so the project was launched in the year 2019 and it's gonna TOP by the end of this year, right? How has it been doing so far? More than 75% have been sold and we're only left with 29 units on the market. Let's go to the schematic chart to see what's available. So here's the unit mix and the available units. And if you look at this summary over here, you'll see that what's available for the three bedrooms are basically 23 units. For the four bedrooms, you've got five units left. And the five bedroom duplex, there is only one. Okay, let's talk about what's interesting. So we noticed that this very unit, which is on the ninth floor and stacked to, has a very good value proposition. And I'll show you the floor plan over here. It's a 1,184 square feet unit type C7A comes with three bedrooms plus a loft. The asking is 1.996679 mil and after discount, it's just a $1,655 PSF price. So this is actually very interesting because the all-time low 
is basically $24 higher than the stated price over here. So that means when you buy this unit, you straight away enter into profit, which is something very interesting. So if this video has been interesting for you, then smash the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. And write in the comment section which other project you would like us to review and we'll do that for you. Right now, let's head over to the actual site and I want to show you the surroundings. Okay guys, we're on the actual site, right? And I just came out from Farrer Park MRT Exit G. And I just want to show you the proximity. So as soon as you're coming out from the MRT, you're faced onto, this is Serangoon Road. So going down, uh, this is just along Kitchener Road and then this is, we're going to turn into Perumo Road and you can see this building right over here. This is uptown at Ferra already. But before we head to the development, I want to show you what's the surrounding. Right across uptown at Ferra diagonally is City Square Plaza. So you have Golden Village, the works, you know, all the necessary and then in the far over here, you've got a whole stretch of hotels. So that's Park Royal, okay, then you also have a Park Hotel over here, then one Ferrer is further down over on that side. This whole stretch beyond the MRT is a series of uh, car park and HDBs. Let's go. So the whole neighbourhood is very nice and tranquil and green and it's super convenient. You can see you've got convenience stores right over here and so if you look at the status of the building, it's already going up almost, I would say, 95% or so. So yeah, there's heavy construction going on right now. Because they're working hard to push out for TOP, right? Okay, so remember I told you that they have this commercial floor over here. So commercial on level one. Then you've got uh, two layers of car parks, two stories of car parks, then going up is all uh, residential is towards the back. These are all the, um, uh, what is this, the service apartments, okay? So I'm going to show you the vicinity in this area. You got the HDB uh, parking over here. So if you go to the map, you'll find, right, that this is a very unique a piece of land in this whole very uh, prime area that is demarcated for a multi-storey car park and then there's vacant land over here just right in front of the estate which is very peculiar right so my guess is the government is retaining this for future development and uh, very lightly residential okay I'm gonna stop here real quick and I wanna show you the stack that we're talking about specifically, uh, the stack two uh, layout, which is the high floor loft unit. It's just right along this stretch over here. So if you just have a quick look upwards, you will see that it actually is well 95% complete. I would say the keys will probably be ready by maybe end of the year. So what are we facing? We're basically facing a big open land over here. Then you've got one Farrer and inside is Farrer Hospital. So it's a very beautiful stretch over here. A little bit unblocked. Then to the rear, what do you have is HDBs over here. Along Racecourse Road. So you've basically got two entries for the MRT Farrer Park from which we came from. Then there's another one over there. Let's quickly hop over and show you where it is. So here we are, and then to your rear over here with the HDB enclave, you basically got a ton of shops. Uh, you've got your, your grocers, um, you know, your mama shops and all that all along this stretch. And then you've got even more eateries along Serangoon uh, Road and, uh, you know, you've got Balestia and all that going over there. So it's very nice and convenient. And this is the show flat. I want to take you inside because we've got a, a model of the actual unit build up for you then you can see the layout. Huh? Pick you from City Hall? But it's only four stops away on the MRT, what? What? You're at Ferro Park MRT? You want me to pick you up? But it's, it's only four stops. Away. Uptown at Ferro. I gotta show these guys the floor plans. 
Guys, let's go quickly to the floor plan. I want to show you this amazing unit. So let's start with the living room. So from the living room, you've got a massive 6 meter high ceiling and then it extends into the front door area which is a foyer. Above that, you've got the loft and then the proper dining room segmented in between. Then you've got the kitchen and behind the kitchen, you've got a bomb shelter and a maid's bathroom. Then you've got three good size rooms, common bathroom and a master bathroom. So I thought we'd start the home tour off in this lovely balcony at Uptown at Farrah. But really this space is actually quite lovely. You've got a huge squarish space over here for you to host all your guests and then remember the facing just now. You're basically facing out into a very nice lovely unblocked green view. Our developers put in you know, some kind of uh, ID over here to kind of uh, create a bar feel and a vibe which could be very interesting for you if you love to entertain guests at home. Then let's step into the living room and boom, you got a six meter high ceiling, more like 5.9. But basically this is the kind of space that a lot of my clients ask me for. And it's very rare in the market because you don't have such lovely vertical space going up. You can build in a lot of uh, carpentry or just very interesting ID like this with interchangeable shelving and storage, mix and play and uh, then you're coming into the formal dining space over here this is the walkway check it out so you've even got a loft up there i'll take you up in a bit this is the main door nice and classy right comes with a digital lock so let me show you the unit is nicely done up with id can be the same for you we're going into the kitchen right now and it's fully done up with top of the line kitchen appliances you have, um, you know, fully done up bloom systems, top hung cabinets, all these are currently ID illustrations but can be done for you. There's a Scandi team going here, which is something you can, you know, recreate in your home. You've got the Bosch stove and the hob and the hood and you even have oven put in for you. You've got full size fridge space over here, uh, which is lovely for families who want to cook up a storm. Your maid, your helper can really do all that. Then over here, you have that maids and laundry area. So you got backyard and that leads into the maids bath. Have a quick look. So in case you are asking me where to do your laundry, then you have an outdoor area over here, which is quite interesting. Then you have a small nook over here where you can put 10 cent, 50 cent. Now this is actually for, you know, the bomb shelter door. Uh, your handle actually goes right here. So what's interesting is the developers have done this bomb shelter up to illustrate what you can do with this space. Surprising choice of setup. This is like a cafe in a bomb shelter. Very fresh, you know, got walk and drink coffee. So let's go right across to um, the bedrooms. I want to show you the bedroom size. It's very interesting. Um, it's very nicely done up. It's very chic, modern. It's basically timber floorings. This is all ID, right? But look at the cabinets. These are actually going to be there for you. These are stuff that the developers will provide. You've got nice kind of fabric-y laminate going on in the inside, which is actually very lovely. Then you've got soft closing doors and uh, you can build it up to the top if you want to. Then there's a, another common uh, bedroom right over here. So right now, this is a show flat unit, right? So you can see um, to our rear is, is the rest of the show flat. But you can see that the, the space is perfect for even a huge double bed, not even a super single bed. So if you want to, you can put in a double bed with enough space. And let's check out um, the common bathroom over here that's going to support both of the common bedrooms. Okay, now for the master. You have a lovely master and this is approximately 9 square meters large of livable space over here. This is a huge king size bed. ID has been done up. If you wanted to, you can put in blinds like these, which I think is very moody and fresh. And then let's check out the bathroom where you have a very atas rain shower. And if you want time out from your wife and baby to watch football, you can always hide in the loft. Two words. Man. Okay. Okay, now let's go to the fundamentals of this project. And we can look at inter project, you already have a very nice entry because of a very strong price support. 
So the all-time high was transacted at $2,189 PSF and the unit was transacted in December 2020 for a 538 square feet unit. Then at the all-time low, it's $1,679 PSF for a 1,033 square feet unit sold in May 2020. So on an entry level of 1,655 PSF, you're basically sitting on $534 per square feet upside if you're comparing it, it towards the all-time high. So it doesn't get any safer than that. And if you're comparing Apple to Apple, then if you're basically looking at three bedroom loft units, this is the unit that comes into the newest all time low, which is basically the base price for new launch entry purchases. And the best part is there are units below you on a lower level. Okay, let's also look at within one kilometer radius, the comparable projects and where the price lies. So you're looking at a average of $1,896 per square feet for Uptown at Farrer. And the average range is $1,355 PSF and all the way up to the number two, which is Park Suites at $1,613 PSF. So this basically tells us that the older projects are not really lagging behind in terms of the price range. So that means that the entry for the very newest Uptown at Farrer is actually packed very closely to the norm, which is actually a very safe indication for price entry. So now let's look forward into the future and what are the drivers that are going to help this project appreciate. So D8 is slated to become an integration of sporting elements as part of housing precinct according to URA Master Plan 2019. And if you look at the master plan, there are several other residential sites and white sites slated for the development highlighted here. There's one very prominent plot which is the Northumberland road plot which is currently open for tender until April 2021 and it sits on 8,732.9 square meters of land and has a gross floor area cap of 36679 square meters which translates to about 405 residential units. So Uptown and Ferrer was also a GLS that was launched in the year 2017 and was sold at $1,001 per square feet per plot ratio. So this new plot will definitely be sold at a higher range and very likely the retail price will probably bring this whole sector into an average of 2,000 plus minus per square feet per plot ratio when this new project launches. Okay, what about tenantability and rental? So let's go to the charts and you'll see that the whole area's rental comparison of one kilometer sees very healthy volume and you have an average 4K rental for three bedrooms. And I guess your closest reference is city square residences. And if you're looking at it from a demand perspective, then D8 is the third most least district after district two and district one. And here you will see on the demand chart across the years that rental contract volumes have steadily been rising. So what about the maintenance fees and car park? So here you have a chart of the maintenance fee and the unit C7A basically has a $393 monthly maintenance fee, which is not bad. And it has one free car park lot per household. Okay, so how do you check out this unit? Feel free to DM us or WhatsApp us and we'll be more than happy to share with you the e-brochure, floor plans and any other necessary details and help you book an appointment with the developers to go and see the actual show flat. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and learned something new. This is Nick Tan selling Singapore and I'll see you in the next video.